I grew up in one of the poorest counties of Alabama during a time when we had very little. This is possum trot leading off right here. But My mother felt that I should learn the work ethic as a child. She had worked all her life. I had to chop cotton in the spring for my grandfather, and then you'd have to drag that cotton sack on your shoulders down the row. Picking that cotton when I was a child taught me that you give a good day's work for a good day's pay. I'm Lily Ledbetter, and I'm from Possum Trot, Alabama. I hired in with Goodyear February 5th, 1979. I wanted to be a part of the radio plant in Gadsden. We needed to work because we couldn't make it just on one salary. We couldn't pay for our home and we could not pay the mortgage. It took two people in the middle class to manage and earn enough money to sustain a family of four or more. I wanted more for my children than I had had and uh, that's why I worked so hard. There were not any women above me in management at Goodyear and Gadsden. It had only been men. Most of the women who had had those positions, uh, they didn't last. I go into work one evening and I look in my mail and here's this note. It has four names and it was the three men and myself. We had had the same job the lowest paid one, he had less education, less training, was younger. He was already making 600 plus more a month than I was. Goodyear paid me unfairly for 17 years and my family needed that money. It just floored me. All the way home the next morning, I debated, do I really want to take a stand? The easy thing to do was let it go. But that's not who I am. And I told my husband, I have to file a charge in Birmingham, Alabama. And I will tell you up front, if I start, I'll be in it at least eight years. He said, what time do you want to leave? A Lily Ledbetter. Lily Ledbetter. Lily Ledbetter. She worked 19 years as a supervisor at a Goodyear tire plant. But at the end of her career, says she discovered she was paid far less than men doing the same job. I started getting calls from all over the nation. This was not a Lily Ledbetter story. It was everybody's story. Ledbetter sued, but the U.S. Supreme Court threw out her case, saying she filed her lawsuit too late. The Supreme Court ruled that even though Ms. Ledbetter had suffered clear discrimination, the law had been broken. She had missed the time in which to raise the issue. You can pray that it goes your way, but oftentimes it does not. We live in a country that we can do something about it. President Obama signed his first bill into law. Passing a law that says the 180-day time period employees have to file a claim starts ticking every time they get a paycheck. And the woman who inspired it, a grandmother who took her case to the Supreme Court and lost, finally saw her goal realized today. It's the story of women across this country still earning just 78 cents for every dollar men earn. Starting with the Ledbetter bill, that was a bold step. He and Michelle, they came up sort of like I did, and he has two daughters, and he wants things better for them. Equal pay is by no means just a women's issue. It's a family issue. And he understands how hard it is on the lower class and middle class people to raise themselves up and pull themselves ahead. The last thing they can afford is losing part of each month's paycheck to simple and plain discrimination. It's a question of who we are and whether we're truly living up to our fundamental ideas. It was just awesome. I mean, it was just awesome. And when I walked up to the White House the morning that the bill was signed, my grandchildren looked at me like I was a rock star. I believe the president keeps his promises. When you make health care easier for women, when you make education possible for women and their families to advance themselves, women have a fair shot.
We need more bills in Congress. We need paycheck fairness. You see, an economy built to last is one where we encourage the talent and ingenuity of every person in this country. That means women should earn equal pay for equal work. And when we get paycheck fairness, that will carry the women's cause down the road much farther and give them more benefits. My case is over and it's gone, it's decided, but I can make a difference for my daughter, my granddaughter, and all of the young women across the nation. I believe history is important and you should never forget where you come from. And I think the president should be reelected for the next four years because then he can finish what he has started. That's why I get up every day ready to go because there's more work needs to be done.